Do you have way too many tasks on your to-do list? Or worse, way too many lists to keep up with and it just leaves you feeling overwhelmed? If so, keep watching as I'll show you how you can use a running to-do list to simplify, manage and prioritize your tasks. Let's go. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a running to-do list to manage and prioritize your task and how to use it in your day-to-day -day planning. I'm going to show you how you can write your tasks and events for the week, how to assign the task for each day and what to prioritize, how to mark completed tasks, and what to do with those tasks that you can't or don't complete for the day. I'm a pen and paper planner, but do make sure you stick to the end because I'll show you how you can use a running to-do list digitally on an iPad. I'm Mary Ann. Through my planning, habit tracking, well-being and budgeting, I hope you can get inspiration and ideas for your own planning. All items mentioned and shown in today's video, all the details will be in the description below. You can create a running to-do list in an exercise book or a dotted journal, or you can use a printable download that you can print and place in your planner or use on a digital device. Whatever you choose, make sure it fits within your day-to-day -day planning schedule. Let me show you how to create a running to-do list in a dotted notebook. You'll need a notebook, a pen and a ruler. First, write your headers, to-do list and the date range for the week. Rule horizontal lines for your list headings. Then create seven dotted square columns on the left hand side of the page for the days of the week. You can have a Monday or a Sunday start, whichever you prefer. You can also create a running to-do list just in an exercise book. It doesn't have to be fancy, especially if you want to just create lists on the go and scribble your task and not be too bothered about it being pretty. Measure your columns. In this example, it's half a centimeter wide. Then on the right hand side, create a header for your tasks, events, appointments, bills, habits, routines, whatever heading you want to help prompt you on what to write when you're setting up your list for a new week. There we are, a running to-do list in an exercise book or a journal. Whether you're using a running to-do list in an exercise book a dotted journal, in a planner or in a digital device, it's very important that you keep it front of mind. That way you're checking it regularly and it becomes an effective system to complete your tasks. When it comes to creating your running to-do list every week in an exercise book or a dotted journal, make it fun and part of your self-care. However, if you do want to use your time more effectively, you can always grab my printable download from my shop at MarianneCresp.com. It's available in A5, Happy Planner Classic, as well as Letter and Big Happy Planner sizes. You get two versions, one with a Monday start and one with a Sunday start. You can print it single-sided or double-sided to save on paper. When you're writing down your events, tasks or appointments, it does not need to be in any particular order. Go through your calendar and write down any events, bills or appointments you have for the week. Add tasks that you do on a daily or weekly basis. Also, if there's any habits you want to improve on, make sure you also add it on your running to-do list so it's in front of mind. Then refer to any old list or sticky notes you may have floating around and see if you want to action those tasks this week. Brain dump anything else you need or want to do for the week. Get it out of your head and down on paper. Our brain is made for creativity, not a storage unit. Only write your tasks on one page. That way you can clearly see your full schedule for the week and you can see what tasks have been completed and what else needs to be actioned. When it comes time to assigning tasks for the week, try not to commit to too many tasks per day. Stick to a hard number, whether that's up to five tasks or up to seven. By limiting the number of tasks you assign each day, it forces you to look at what tasks are more important than others.
By only having a few tasks per day, it's a lot easier to get them done. It also stops you from having to keep moving the tasks forward if you can't get to them. Sort them based on the days you want to action them. Make a small dot to mark the day you are going to action the task. This list will also help you spread your tasks throughout the week. Try not to assign tasks on your rest day or days where you have a lot of commitment. Batch similar tasks together and do the most important task first. You can create keys to symbolize certain action on your running to-do list. A dot means to action. An X or a cross means you've completed the task. An arrow means you're going to move an incomplete task to the next day or the next week. And a line across means you no longer need to action it. Mark your completed tasks with an X. You can also use markers like this dot marker to make your to-do list colorful. Then grab a ruler, draw a line across the page so you know you no longer need to refer to that task for the rest of the week. If the task is a recurring one, don't make any markings to ensure that you action it for the other days. If you miss a task that you cannot forward to the next day, like working out, then you can make a line across to show that you didn't complete it for that day. If you have habits that you are trying to establish or maintain, make sure to add it to your running to-do list to help build consistency. What to do with the tasks you can't or don't complete? For example, let's say you were supposed to call mum on Monday, but you didn't get through or you forgot. You will mark the task with an arrow and then make a dot on the following day that you will action the call. Now you can go a little bit further with your key symbols if you like by making specific timed appointments with a big circle to differentiate it from other tasks as it is time sensitive. Now if you do manage to get all your tasks done for the day, you may even want to look at the next day's task and tackle those. Whether you're using a running to-do list in an exercise book, a dotted journal, as a printable download or on a device, make sure it is front of mind and you are checking it regularly for it to be an effective system. Before I show you how you can also use a running to-do list on a digital device like an iPad using a note-taking app, if you found value in this video and gotten some ideas on how to tackle an overwhelming large to-do list, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend that you think might also enjoy the video. If you have an iPad and a note-taking app installed like GoodNotes 5, you can import my running to-do list PDF and use it on your device. Open GoodNotes 5 app, import the file locating where you saved it on your device and open it. You can delete any of the pages you don't need and make copies of the page you need for future weeks. By using an Apple Pencil, you can write directly on the screen like it's paper. You can choose the thickness of your writing, Choose the ink color and then fill in the page. You can zoom in to write your notes and fill the page with your tasks, events, appointments and habits for the week. Then assign your task to the day you want to action it. Cross off any of your completed tasks and move forward any incomplete tasks. You can even use a highlighter to make your page colorful. You can create a line across to signify those tasks that you no longer need to address for the rest of the week. And there you are, my running to-do list on an iPad. The next thing to do is watch this video on how to note down all the stuff that's in your head that you want or need to do, but don't know yet when or what the outcome or result is.